Hey guys, this is a tutorial on uh, how to set up your trans kick channel in uh, Logic Pro X. This is a technique I've been using and it uh, has been uh, giving me some great results. So let's get into it. Uh, I love uh, Logic Pro X. It's an awesome platform. I've been using it for years and it's, they just get better and better. Uh, the plugin that I use, I used to use a lot of samples, uh, but I came across this uh, uh, plugin sample called uh, Kick. Nicky Romero, he's a DJ producer, and he uh, he figured out that maybe if I could make a plugin where I could just have my kicks, you know, in key and tune and frequency with my bass and my track overall, um, I'm gonna make it. And he made it. And you could adjust this yourself, you know, if your track is in C, uh, you could you could put it there. If it's in G, you could raise it up. If it's in A flat, your bass line. So you know when you have your kick and your bass line, they don't you know they don't fight each other. They don't conflict with each other, and they have room and they just you know flow harmonically. So uh, he has a lot of a lot of genres. He has analog, you know, kick bass, you know, drum and bass, house, live. Uh, he also had percussions. Romero, those are his signatures, uh, kicks that he uses in his tracks, and he's done. And uh, he has techno kicks, trance, trap, and then you could bring your user kicks, to, you know, your samples you use in your library, import them there, and then you could tweak them uh, with the release and everything. It's it's an awesome plugin. I uh, totally recommend it. He uh, he's uh, and uh, his colleagues at uh, Sonic uh, Academy. Uh, I guess worked on it together, but it's an awesome kick. So I'm going to just use the trance because that's what I normally do. That's the genre I'm into. Uh, but you could do whatever you want. I'm just kind of give you like, you know, guidelines of how I uh, set up my channel in uh, Logic Pro. So let's get into it. All right. So the first thing I load in the plugin and uh, let's see, let's pick up. That's a pretty decent kick. Two has a nice punch to it. More a little. I had a, I had my Maserati. So first thing I do, uh, let's just stay with one. First thing I do is, I normally put a compressor on it first, because sometimes these kicks, you know, when they when they thump a lot, that first kick, you know, uh, punches out, and then the compressor comes in, and then kind of tucks in the second kick, and then it kind of gels it. So so you don't want you know your first plug in to like overwork. Uh, that first kick, um, you know, like leaving it to do all the work and compressing those first, you know, those first thumps. I normally add uh, the uh, Opto Tight compressor. And normally when you add the uh, Opto Tight compressor, uh, like if you like load it up there uh, as your first thing on the top, it normally puts your uh, ratio to 6. Uh, 6.1. I like to put it at you know, a two, 201 to 211 ratio. And I leave everything the same. I don't even touch nothing. Just the 201 or the 211 or whatever, you know, you like, listen, you know, the way you want to listen to it, you know, what sounds good to your ears. But I, I like, let's leave it at 211. You put that there and uh, you add that. Then the next thing I add is the uh, Maserati for those that have wave plugins. Uh, the Maserati works awesome. I normally use the deep, the bass, drum, deep bottom. It tucks everything in. It gives you a nice, it doesn't give it to you too punchy. It's just awesome. This is the uh, bass settings. And uh, the one I really like is that bottom one. And I don't change nothing. I just add that um, right there. And uh, just leave it there and close it. And let's just play and see how it sounds. Let's close this too. Turn it on now. Turn it off. See how how like out of control it is dynamically without the Maserati. And then once you uh, activate it, it kind of like tones down a little bit. Uh, it controls the dynamics. Uh, if you turn off the uh, compressor, and that only that compressor tucks it in, but it's only it's really good 
when you hit stop and play. You know, so like when, let's say your track starts and it's just start with that first kick. Uh, you could, There's other techniques to like, you know, clean that out. But uh, sometimes, you know, your, your drop, you know, comes down and then, you know, there's a big drop in your trance track and then you just want to like surprise everyone and just come in with that first kick. Sometimes those first, first kicks, you know, um, if you don't watch out, the, dy the dynamics jump at you. So it's always good to have that compressor there. So here it is with uh, everything on. And then the next thing I like to do is I add right under that the Trans X Multi. I have two that I want to show you. And then you pick which one sounds good to your ears. Uh, there's a couple of settings I like. I'll show you right off the bat. More punch is awesome. Punchy in the middle when you want that thump. That, you know, it's like really bassy and round, but you want that snap in the middle. This uh, lines up and gives you that thump right here, right in the middle between that 500 and that AK. Nice. Smack right in the middle between one and two. That's awesome. Uh, the next one that I really like is the Dave. The Aaron kick one. Awesome. So those are my three favorite that I like to rotate within my kicks and see which one sounds awesome. So let's play the... Uh, Let's play the more punch, and this is uh, without it. And now this is with it on. See how it's working right there? Off. On. I am going to add punch, punchy in the middle. And you see how that one sounds. On. Off, on, nice, and uh, the Aaron, the Dave kick is really good too, it kind of gives you a nice low end too and it kind of compresses things over here, here is it, here is it uh, with, with it off. So that's that, and the uh, other plugin I want to show you is the uh, TransX Wide. The, w the first one I show you was the uh, TransX Multi. Uh, this one has two settings I like: is the Mega Kick and the Soft Kick. If you want to like soften your kick a little bit, because it's just too uh, out there. Let's uh, play, and I'll play you uh, the Mega Kick. Nice. It gives a nice a nice punch. Like if you're mixing and you're like, man, the kick is there. I kind of really don't feel it, but it's it's there. You know, it just needs a little oomph. Believe me, this will do magic. And the last thing I do, and uh, mind you, these two, the TransX Multi and the TransX Wide, I normally have one. I don't pick both. I don't use both of them. But if you want to use both of them, you know, more the merrier for you. Whatever sounds good to your ears. I normally use one. And then the last thing is... I normally put like a analyzer just to see uh, where my, my kick is at. And normally, you know, the kick, you like it to be thumping anywhere between like that 50, 60 range. Kind of have that, you know, slope. Um, and it, you should want that thump somewhere around there. I normally put this on, uh, on the top too, uh, above the compressor. The first thing is this. And, uh, and then the last thing is this EQ. So I can kind of see and maybe I need to tuck things here and there. I could do it in the mix. Um, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The uh, Nick uh, Nick plugin, the kick Nick N uh, Romero. The uh, you want you could put the EQ just to see you know the uh, the waves and the structure of it. Um, right here, you could kind of see what's going on when it comes out of the uh, Nick Romero plugin, uh, and then the uh, compressor, and make sure you use the uh, Opto Tight. And uh, put the settings between 201 and 211. And don't touch nothing else. And then right after that, if you could get access to the uh, Maserati uh, plugin, you use the uh, drum bass, bass drum deep bottom. Awesome plugin. 
And then anywhere between the uh, Transex Multi, uh, and you could use uh, the Aaron, um, the uh, Punchy in the Middle, and More Punch. Awesome settings. Those are my favorite settings. Or you could use the uh, Trans uh, X Mult, uh, the Wide. It's right here. Sorry, my computer's a little slow. Forgive me for the little clicks. And uh, you could use the Mega Kick or the Soft Kick. And pretty much that's for like drops. So you want to tone the kick down a little bit. And then an EQ. And then that's it. Man, you start with that, with that channel right there. And you can save it um, uh, as, a, as like a, a, a channel strip. And it could be like call your Trance Kick. And then from there you could just tweak it. And you could save like a, like a setup, you know, load up song uh, template for uh, Logic. And you could just start banging out tracks left and right, and you got a good start. And then you could, uh, you could have it. You could actually also do is have that setting there, and then when you uh, bounce your audio file onto the track, uh, you could copy. You know, depending how you do it, but most of the time, sometimes these uh, these copy to the new added track where your uh, audio kick is in, and then you could even tweak it more in your final final mix. But you could just work your way, you know, progress your way up in your mix, uh, starting with a good uh, solid uh, ground like this for, uh, especially for the uh, trans, you know, kick that you uh, you guys love, you know, like from Above Beyond, you know, Armin Van Buren, and you know the rest of the gang. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, video. Hope it uh, is uh, it'll help you in your uh, electronic dance music production. And uh, please hit the like button and uh, let me know your comments. Peace.